another day another fried scenario in the ynw melly trial going on right now this time it's with ynw Portland, his right hand man that supposedly drove the getaway car the night that ynw melly apparently murked two of his friends at 5 37 two men are in jail this morning including an up-and-coming florida rapper both men are charged in a double Police are saying the two staged a crime scene to make it look like a drive-by shooting. Back in October, we actually have aerial footage of the scene at Memorial Miramar Hospital. The victims, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr., were dropped off at the hospital where they were... In an alleged drive-by stage. Man, Boylan just got arrested for witness tampering, so it's definitely not looking good at all for the whole YNW Melly case. We got to get into it right now and everything that went down. But before we do, I'm going to need you to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to run this up, man. We're on the road to 10K subscribers, so make sure y'all tap in. Hit that notification bell so whenever I post, y'all tune in right away and tap in with the merch at staysafeworld.com. Man, let's get into this right now. So when your best friend is facing the death penalty, it's obviously not a great idea to be threatening witnesses. But unfortunately, this is where we're at right now with YNW Portland, who was arrested yesterday for apparently trying to get a witness in the trial not to show up to court. Man, a statement was released announcing the warrant that resulted in his arrest. They said in the circuit court of the 17th Judicial Circuit in and for Broward County, Florida, in the name of the state of Florida to all and singular sheriffs and constables of the state of Florida and slash or agents of the following law enforcement agencies, U.S. Marshal Service, the Broward Sheriff's Office, whereas Detective Undercover of the Broward Sheriff's Office, County of Broward, State of Florida, has on October 2nd, 2023, made application for an arrest warrant via the electronic means pursuit of where it alleged that the affidavit has reason to believe and does believe one on about April 10th, 2023, continuing through and including July 22nd, 2023. So that's about four months, let's say. Corlin Henry, along with others, and then and there unlawfully and knowingly engage in misleading contact toward another person with the intent to cause or induce blank to withhold testimony or withhold a record document or other object or to cause or induce that witness to evade legal process summoning that person to appear as a witness or to produce a record document or other object in an official proceeding or to cause or induce blank to be absent from an official proceeding to which such person has been summoned by legal process more specifically described as the jury trial of jamel demons so Essentially, they're saying that YNW Borland basically went and tried to get a witness, not just a witness that is in the trial, but a witness and a juror to try to confuse them in a way and mislead them to not really say anything in the trial. Basically, this is pretty much a death sentence for YNW Melly. I'm just going to say right here because it's like, really think about it why would they need to be intimidating witnesses and jurors you know if they were innocent people were saying free them and stuff like that but honestly like why would you be intimidating witnesses and jurors if you actually didn't do the crime you wouldn't have to do all that and it seems like something they're doing as a last ditch effort you know people when they're backed up into a corner you kind of see the real them and you'll see them sort of like crash out even further and it seems like they're pretty much backed into a corner you know as much as they smile and as much as they post like ynw melly's getting out soon we got to keep it 100 with you if they're threatening witnesses and jurors there's no way that this dude thinks that he has an airtight case that's gonna let him get out right now there was a mistrial and i feel like there's a mistrial because because at the same time that I might personally feel like they're guilty because of this, that doesn't necessarily mean that the law can just be bent and turned in a different way if you're the, you know, court system. Like, the way that they're doing things, especially with the mistrial, I guess jurors felt that there was something wrong about this case and the way that they're basically going after him, you know, it's innocent until proven guilty. So, at the end of the day, you can't really say that someone is innocent or guilty without really, like, figuring out what happens in this trial. But the evidence 
in itself is definitely not looking good man the evidence is actually looking pretty crazy and like this is the latest thing but people were saying that this could be fabricated by the da as a means to try to get ynw melee and he didn't really do anything at all you know but at the end of the day, if they have some type of evidence that shows that Bortland was basically going out of his way and threatening witnesses, it's like, what can you really say at that? All you can really say is he kind of wrote his own death check, if you ask me, because it's like he was already being watched and was on an ankle monitor and was pretty much in a situation where he was out on bond for a capital murder case. You shouldn't be doing anything besides talking to a lawyer. And it seems like this dude has been in more trouble out on bond since 2019 because he's been out this whole trial. Then he was supposed to have his own trial actually coming up. But now it got pushed to January because of this whole situation. Now, it could be the DA and the whole, you know, law enforcement system trying to really like screw them over. But at the same time, if they don't have any evidence that shows that he even like did that, then I don't even know how they could hold them. You know, I'm assuming they have some amount of evidence that says that he was trying to tamper with witnesses, man. That's honestly pretty fired, fried, man. Like, I really feel like this reminds me of the XXX Tentacion case, too. I mean, that was in Broward, too, and he was arrested also for witness tampering so they'll get you for that man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think man do you think that this is like a setup do you think that there's something behind this man stay safe world let me know what y'all thinking man peace